Okay, my name is Teresa Kemoma Tandi. I'm a nurse by profession, Kenya Registered Community Health Nurse. In Luwa, I'm working in Luwala, LCA, Luwala Community Alliance, the clinical department, and I'm the clinical care manager. Yeah, the most common condition is uh, malaria. Yeah, that is one of the most common condition. And uh, we have upper respiratory tract infections. Yeah. This is now like approximately one and a half years, I think. Because I think one, when it was introduced, I was here. Then we went through the training for the, for the iPads. For the first lot that was here, we've been working with it. New staffs have been coming, but for the existing ones who are here, they've been working with it. Then it's like in each department we have one. So I think it's been helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially for patient health education. Sometimes you can even take a photo of a patient after the consent. Then maybe, for example, if you want to compare before and after treatment, sure. that one has been taking place. And also when you want to find a specific treatment for a particular condition, it is very easy to work with because you have it at hand, you just go through and you find it. Yeah, it is gently the way that I work. Because sometimes you get that you're not sure, really sure of a particular condition. Mm -hmm. Instead of you like rushing and getting books and trying to get the information from books, you already have it at hand. Mm -hmm. Just a matter of like clicking that condition and you get it. It has a positive impact because you know it's very different like when you are talking it verbally, mm -hmm. Like you can say it verbally and you show a video. So it creates much of impact when like you say it verbally and as you're going on teaching, you show a video, they'll really find the, 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 the real picture of what you're talking about. Because right. they're going just like to view this. Especially, I'm really happy with the breast attachment thing mm -hmm. and on how the mothers are supposed to attach the children when they're breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. It brings a clear picture. There is a time we also had another minorist kid mm -hmm. here. So we treated the kid, we took a photo using the iPod and we stored it there. So after the therapy in the ward, the patient stayed for like a week. Then now we were doing like follow-ups at home. So there is one of the nurses who went to do the follow-ups and I gave the nurse the iPad to go with it. So like when he came back, already the picture was there and we could see an improvement. Like right. if you compare the first one and the second time, you really see that this kid has really improved. Yeah. So that really brings a clear picture.